Diana Thompson uh, talking about a call to superheroes. Diana Thompson. Superheroes that run in to save the day. 
It's superheroes that, that win, they lose, but they never hide. They think of themselves and of the greater good. So think about the last problem that you faced. And how did you respond to it? Maybe it was something as small as, as finding your keys, or something as big as, as deciding the next career path for you. And then how did you respond to that problem? If you jumped in to solve the problem, then congratulations, you were being a superhero. But if, if you got angry and you stomped around, maybe making the problem worse, then you were probably playing it for the villain. Like the young man who said to me, I guess I'd rather be right than happy. But that was the moment he realized he was playing the villain. Perhaps you called on someone else to solve the problem, in which case you would be playing the police, the police chief. And you think of the old TV shows where they throw up the bat signal in the sky to call the superhero to come solve the problem, even though they have tremendous resources to solve the problem themselves. It's like children on the playground that come running up to the teacher to get them to solve every little instance of injustice. But I have trained children and schools so that they know how to battle problems and they also run up to the teacher but this time to tell them how they solve issues of bullying. So perhaps the problems happened to you and you didn't do anything about it. You just suffered through it. In which case you can play the victim. Now the victim is the weakest role to play. I met a, a young woman once who was living in a homeless shelter. She was a teenager, and she was there in a teen shelter through no fault of her own. She'd been forced to drop out of high school even though she was practically the valedictorian of her class. Life had given her this script, this perfect script for playing the victim, and let me tell you, she did it with grace and dignity because she had so many good role models to show her out. And I said, this is what's happened to you. This is not who you are. You know, you don't have to play this role. Well, 10 years later, she called me and told me, I am your best student. Because every day, I reminded myself not to play the victim. She has a beautiful home, a family, a healthy relationship. And she is the manager of over 50 employees without a valid employment degree. So if you get to choose the role you play, why not choose to be a superhero? Why not? Okay, I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I don't have superpowers. But you do. You have the power of your imagination. That's the power to come up with ideas and systems and technologies that can solve big problems. You have the power of time travel to look in the past to see how things have worked out before Look in the future to see how a decision could play out. You have the power of your words that can transform the way someone feels. That is a superpower that's no different than a superhero. You can lift the moon and put it back into orbit. You can lift someone up, or you can bring their world crashing down by the way you form your words for critique, criticism, or support. You are a superhero and you have superpowers. You can choose to play that role every moment that you face a problem. You have the choice to choose. Now, every hero must answer a call. And I sincerely hope that you will say yes, because this is your call. The world needs 